Hi, I'm Jay Bedford. Welcome to Songwriters Circle. Uh, today we're going to do um, what's called top five songwriting practices. And the first one I'd go for is research. Number one, number one research. Um, research your topic, the genre. Um, looking at other artists who've written songs that are in a similar style um, or on that topic. <coughs> um, mind mapping. So that's when you get a word in the center and you have off points of it just to really get your ideas together. And pages. <coughs> what pages are is something writing something every day um, I, I've always told my students one page minimum I've been watching through my own research I've been looking at um, lots of stuff from Berkeley University online like they've got quite a lot of stuff for free on there um, they really want to share it because they love songwriting like the rest of us um, <clears throat> and there's some amazing stuff on there from students of the school and the lecturers um, and, and they're talking about three to five pages a day and, and I get that I totally understand <clears throat> um, and within that research I found I, you, you'll find people who you can keep going back to <coughs> that have um, knowledge that you don't have I still find people I don't that I don't have the knowledge they have, um, and I wonder if they've got the same knowledge, got some of my knowledge, which is really exciting. Um, <clears throat> there's one guy I'd recommend, um, Pat Patterson is his name, and for those of you who are into pro wrestling like me, um, it's not that Pat Patterson. Um, this this guy is incredible. His name just kept coming up with all these graduates of Berkeley, kept saying, um, oh, this is a Pat Patterson trick, and, and all the best ones that I, I like the most. So I've, I'm just starting to get into some of his lectures and stuff that he's done, and um, little lyric writing courses and stuff. He's, he's a very clever man, so check him out. Cool, number two, learn something every day. So, <clears throat> it's kind of like research, but it's um, looking into something deeper. Um, so something that's like, as songwriters, we've got to be musicians, poets, um, studio production engineers, um, music theory wizards, and we've got to be, sometimes performing is, is a huge part of that. Not every songwriter does all those things, but... <clears throat> Uh, if you can, it's the best way to learn what, what your song's going to end up like um, and have some control over that. Um, sometimes it's fun to let other people do it. That's really cool. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. But learn something every day. I, 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 when I've had block or I've stood still as a performer, a writer, um, a musician, um, and then as a human being, <laughs> It's because I haven't been searching for this stuff. And um, it's out there. there. We live in an amazing world with the, the internet. And we can find all sorts of things online that you we never used to be able to have. Um, so the no, there's knowledge out there to be, to be received. Um, be the person that goes and looks for it. Cool. Number three. Number three is, let's be honest now. What are your weaknesses? Um, be honest with you. <clears throat> Listen back to some recordings from your past. You might find some of those issues are still there and they're, you're, they're just working themselves out. <clears throat> um, if people have, that you've played music with or collaborators have been like, confused by your lyrics or musicians have thought um have been confused by your timing um 
you know, look for those things, find out what they are. If, if you don't already know, ask some people, um, ask people that you trust. Um, they, people that love you and you trust them, they've probably got your best intentions at heart. And if you ask them to be honest and say, where do you think I'm really lacking as a songwriter, as a performer, you know? <clears throat> Um, find a, a buddy to, to collaborate with that you can be that honest and go, well, the reason I like working with you is you're really good at the stuff that I'm not good at um, and vice versa. You, you, you've got no idea in this area. <laughs> and it's, it's helpful to know these things and to really <clears throat> choose to move forward that way. Cool. Number four. <clears throat> Again, being honest with yourself and seeking wise counsel. There's a little thing um, called uh, Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi called it the pizza parlor jury. So they turned up at a, a pizza parlor because they're from Jersey um, and found all these young people, their target market. Find out who your target market is and go out and find a way to find them and get them to give you feedback. <coughs> um, I was, when I saw one of these um, <clears throat> documentaries on Bon Jovi, th they were talking about the pizza parlor jury and I just wanted to achieve this, the amazing storytelling that they, they were putting out and, and just this energy that was Bon Jovi in 1988, 89. And, <coughs> And this is part of what it was. They said, oh, Slippery When Wet, their, their breakthrough album, wouldn't have looked anything like it did if they didn't go to the pizza parlor. So they went to the pizza parlor, found 20 kids or something, and fed them pizza and said, listen to this and tell us what you think. And, and they're like, they first said the album was too short. They, they wanted more. They really liked it. They wanted more. They, they felt like, but they didn't feel the start of it. And they said, well, these are the demos. These are the, um, the songs we've taken out. And, and they were fine. Some of them were final recordings. And they heard um, the song that starts the album. I think it's called Let It Rock. <coughs> Pounding. Um, Lay Your Hands On Me wasn't going to be on there. Um, they fought and fought and fought. Richie Sambora didn't like um, living on a prayer um, that went on and on. John and Richie never really <coughs> agreed on a lot of things. He, Richie wouldn't have um, put It's My Life on an album. He was like, who's Frankie? Who, uh, these kids won't know who Frank Sinatra is, but <coughs> they argued and came to an agreement <coughs> and it proved that the kids that didn't know who Frank Sinatra was thought Frankie could have been anybody like um, Frankie could have been Uncle Frank. <laughs> so um, seek wise counsel and other people's opinions and look for that target market and um, hit them and, and say, well, what do you think about my material? What songs do you think are great and why? And what don't you like? Because the kids in the pizza parlor jury didn't think that um, the storytelling songs um, in the way John wanted to tell the story, he wanted to turn into um, Bruce Springsteen. <coughs> and instead they were like, you know, tell the stories in a different way. They wanted that energy and that thing that made Bon Jovi just anthemic. Um, they didn't want the, just the, the grizzled old man with a guitar because um, John wasn't grizzled or old. <laughs> um, so they, they wanted to, to hear <clears throat> um, something that pumped some bangers and, and that's what they got and they told them what ones they were. And bon Jovi's Slippery When Wet was uh, an album that the, the record company was going to dump them if it, if, it, if it didn't rock as hard as it did. And so thank the pizza parlor jury. Um, love to know who those people are because I want to thank you. You deserve those pizzas. <clears throat> All 
All right. And last but not least, challenges for growth. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> um, and what I mean by challenges is you can set your own challenges. Some of the best challenges in my book and the follow-up book I'm <clears throat> starting to work on now, they're ones I set myself. Um, and there are others out there, like go to um, Facebook groups, Reddit, um, any of those places and find songwriting challenges. Um, <clears throat> there are 30 day challenges, five day challenges, five minute challenges, write a song in five minutes. Find what these challenges are because <clears throat> that's what, um, <clears throat> you, you go to Berkeley, for example, <clears throat> Berkeley is one of the most major music universities in the world. If you, if you want to be um, John Mayer, John Mayer is a graduate from there. If you want to be John Mayer, that's where he learned all his tricks. So whether, whether you like him as a person or as a musician or not, he's good at what he does. He's amazing. He knows how to tell a story and um, all the tricks are there. So they learn a lot of technical stuff, but the biggest thing they're doing all the time is challenges. And it might be not heading toward a finished song. We look for challenges for inspiration most of the time, but there's a, challenges for inspiration and there's challenges for growth. Um, <clears throat> um, so find those challenges. I put out challenges all the time, like use them. So do most people that do what I do, um, teaching people songwriting skills. They're like, it's like, I, I want to give you the tools to become the writer you're going to become, not become a version of me. Um, we don't need more dinosaurs out there. Um, I'm, I'm aging and I've been where I've been. You've been where you've been. You're only you can tell your stories. Um, your creative mind's going to work different to mine, but I can give you the tools to use your creative mind. I've got students that just blow me away. I'm just like, you guys are incredible. <laughs> and it's because they've taken the training as a gift. Well, they paid for it, but it's <laughs> they've taken it as a gift and they've used it their own way. They're not my most successful students. And I've got some really amazing songwriters that have, have trained under me don't sound anything like me and that's great i um <clears throat> think that the only way to do it is is seek your own heroes people to look to um and steal their tricks don't you don't have to try and sound like them um the greatest piece of advice i heard was uh, again bon john bon jovi's mother said to him one day <clears throat> you know and as well he was writing um the Blaze of Glory album uh, that he was looking at Bob Dylan because Dylan's he's one of the greatest songwriters ever ever full stop he is one of the greatest songwriters whether you like his sound or not um, he knows how to write songs um, <clears throat> but his mother he so he was writing Blaze of Glory Blaze of Glory two soundtracks so Blaze of Glory was a, um, a remake of the movie Billy the Kid in which um, Bob Dylan wrote the soundtrack to, and out of that came Knocking on Heaven's Door and Wagon Wheel. Wagon Wheel took a long time to become the massive hit it is today. So, and that, so that was like 60s or 70s. That song was actually written. <coughs> um, but he was listening to all that stuff and going, oh, it's Bob, hey, it's Bob Dylan. It's like the, the bars up here. Um, and it's uh, all of us feel like that with Bob Dylan as a writer. She said to him, look <coughs> at your heroes, your influences, and find out who their influences are. Because then you're going to go straight to the source and you might catch something. Um, I know when, when I was massively into Bon Jovi, um, I was probably in dangerous territory of just sounding like a cheap copycat of um, John, maybe with a few skills short, <laughs> um, especially at that time. Um, and <laughs> someone said to me, um, 
Ted was his name, an amazing guy. Um, he knew a lot about music, um, and we would talk a lot. And he said to me one day, he said, you know, before Bon Jovi, there was bad company. And I said, what's that? And he said, flicked me some bad company albums and just said, go, go to your room, listen, and come back out and tell me what you think. <clears throat> and I came back out after listening to um, like three albums, I think, um, back to back, just boom, 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 boom. Um, and said that that's where they stole their tricks. There has to be. <laughs> and and I was able to find that a little bit more digestible, just like um, John Bon Jovi must have. Um, and John Bon Jovi admitted it years later that, um, that, that in the early days, that was definitely one of the bands they stole some tricks off. Um, and we all do it. So <clears throat> look to who other people's influences are if you really want to dig deeper. <clears throat> the... So that's number five, just a reminder. So uh, research your topic and your genre, um, pages, um, mind mapping, um, and build that story. Um, number two, learn something new every day. Like even if you're going down a rabbit hole of production or music theory or performance, guitar work, piano, um, just dig deeper. Number three was what are your weaknesses? Um, be honest with yourself and, and get other people to tell you. Um, number four is like the pizza parlor jury, seek the wise counsel. What is your demographic? Who are the people that uh, you're aiming your music at? <coughs> um, find out what they like about your material, whether they like your material. Um, you might find your, your path will choose you sometimes and you might think you're going to be this hard out rock singer and later find out you're a country singer. Um, it's happened to a lot of us. <laughs> um, and challenges for growth. We use challenges a lot of the time to, as inspiration to find other things. You can use them for growth too, where you're not necessarily seeking out a finished product of a song. You're seeking out um, growth as a, as a writer, as a performer. Um, and those challenges are everywhere. I've always got them on this channel. Um, always look for them. 30 day challenges, five minute challenges, 10 day challenges, write something every day, those sort of things. Thank you. Um, this is the first of a few more of these um, top five things. If there's anything you want to know, top five anything um, to do with songwriting and musicianship, <coughs> give me um, some messages in the comments, send me an email. If you'd like to do one-on-one -on -one lessons or group songwriting lessons with any of my groups through the Songwriters Circle or through um, JB for Music Lessons online, um, just give me a holler, tbsom at live.com. Come and let's, let's talk about your, your artistry and where you're going. Cool. See you in the comments. Be nice in the comments to me and everybody else. See ya.